Hi, I'm Dr. Wesley Shank, and welcome back to our channel. We're going to talk today about another pain disorder which you may or may not have recognized or heard about. It's called cracked tooth syndrome. Now, it sounds silly, and you may say, what's the big deal? Well, trust me, if you had a cracked tooth, it'd be a big deal. I've had a cracked tooth. As a matter of fact, I just had my dentist repair it this past week, and I am so thankful. I can eat without discomfort. I can drink without discomfort, and you might find the same problem. If you go from a dentist to a physician, they can't find the problem, but they have, you have facial pain, and especially pain if you bite down, but it doesn't linger. You bite down, it hurts, but it doesn't linger. You may eat, and the pain goes and just stays for a little bit, but passes away. If you drink something cold or something sweet or something sour, and you have a shooting pain in here, some may think that's trigeminal neuralgia, and that's not trigeminal neuralgia. If you bite down, you have a lingering, sharp, shooting pain, discomfort with a sour taste or, or a sweet taste in your mouth, or the pain gets worse as time goes on, and you wonder what's going on, but there's no cavity. They take an x-ray, there's no cavity, there's no abscess, there's nothing going on. And you start to think maybe you're crazy or the doctors think you're crazy, and obviously your family's gonna think you're crazy, but there's something going on you know is not normal. So you see your dentist and he or she may evaluate your teeth, take a look, take an x-ray and they can't see anything, yet you know, you know in your mind there's something there. Well, you've all heard about people getting hurt in a motor vehicle accident or playing football or falling down and they go to the emergency room and they think they might have a broken wrist or broken arm and the doctor or the radiologist there and then the doctor takes a look at an x-ray that he or she may take and there's nothing wrong. So they just bandage it up or they give you medication, yet the pain lingers, it continues on, so a day or two later, you go to another doctor, maybe an orthopedic surgeon, and he or she will order an x-ray with a little different angle than they took in the emergency room, and they find a fracture. It wasn't negligence that they saw or they missed this fracture. They just aligned the x-ray a little bit different way. Well, it's the same with a cracked tooth. So your dentist may take an x-ray. He or she may not see a fracture. There may not be a fracture on the x-ray, yet there's a fracture. Well, this is a case where you go from office to office, you have pain. It's not always there. I would eat sometimes and not have pain. Then something, sometimes I'd eat something a little more firmer, like a pretzel or something harder, and I would have discomfort. Yet it wouldn't linger. I thought it might be a fracture as well. So I had to see my dentist. I want to show you a picture of what a tooth looks like, and I want to give you an idea what I'm talking about. Here's a drawing of a tooth. This is my Bob Ross rendition of my drawing of a tooth. Bob Ross. Well, this is enamel, the outside surface, which you see. It's one of the hardest substances on the earth. This is a little structure underneath here called dentin, where we get the word dentine, dentine chewing gum. This is a brown tissue you may see if enamel is broken off, and that has conveyance, little canals going into the pulp, the nerve of the tooth right here. And this pulp has nerves, blood vessels, lymphatic nodes in here too, that make you be able to feel things, sense things. This is what the problem is if you start to have a problem with an abscessed tooth or you break your tooth. And what happens is when you break this tooth is you may fracture a section of the tooth off right here and it may just all come off and you fracture the tooth and your dentist can just do a filling, that's fine, or a crown. However, if you fracture this tooth off into the dentin, now you're in an area that's really, really sensitive and it's cold sensitive, hot sensitive, chewing sensitive. And worse than that, if you break the tooth off into the corner of the pulp of the tooth, now you've got the pulp exposed and the nerve exposed, and now you have a lot of discomfort and it may start to die and you may need a root canal or have the tooth taken out. Now, if your dentist is like the most famous rock and roll band on this earth ever, the Beatles, your dentist is going to say to you, I should have known better with a tooth like you. And he or she would say, we got to fix that tooth or we got to take it out or crown it. And that's what we had to do. Now we've talked about Bob Ross's rendition of the anatomy of this tooth. We're going to talk a little bit of how to test for this. Now, for example, this, I don't know how well you can see this or not, but this is a actual mandible teeth in it. And you can see the wear in these teeth. What you look for, what a dentist should look for is a lot of wear in the teeth. A person who grinds or clenches their teeth a lot has a lot of headaches, maybe temporal headaches, may be confused with temporal tendonitis or a TMJ problem, but they have a headache when they wake in the morning especially, may be grinding of their teeth, 
And that may be the one of the signs and symptoms the dentist may see in the mouth. But you look for grinding, wear it, facets in the teeth. You also can use a blue dye on the teeth that would show up cracks in the teeth. You can touch the teeth or bang on the teeth, touch the teeth so see if they're sensitive. The dentist can check with a high intensity light to see if there's a fracture in one or both of the teeth or several of the teeth. And sometimes they can start to see where a, a little crack is gonna propagate through the enamel. See, teeth are designed or created like ice, laid down in prisms. And if one little prism starts to break down a line, it propagates down that line and fractures a lot more of the tooth. So that's what your dentist is gonna look for. It's gonna look like a fracture. It's gonna, he's gonna pee or she's gonna put methylene dye or something on the tooth to show up the crack in the tooth and look for wearing the teeth like this. If that's the case, then I'm gonna show you a little PowerPoint presentation that goes further on how to test for a fractured tooth. Here's a much better picture than my Bob Ross rendition a little bit ago. Shows you the enamel, the dentin, and the pulp of the tooth. If you fracture a tooth in the corner right here, it might be a little bit rough, it might be a little sensitive. If you fracture it further down through the dentin, it'll really be sensitive. And if you fracture it right here through this portion, the pulp of the tooth, it won't be long till the tooth dies. Here's a fracture right here. This is dentin, stained dentin, and below that is the pulp of the tooth. Here's another picture. Look at that fracture right there. Now look at that. This is somewhat sensitive with, with chewing and with cold temperatures, but it's not fractured enough to get into the nerve of the tooth to kill the tooth. This is a patient who's worn the enamel off the teeth, and what you're seeing is exposed dentin right here. And believe it or not, this person was not having discomfort. You would think if you put cold temperatures on that, it would be very sensitive, but it was not. Here's another case. Look at all that worn, worn off enamel. That's dentin you see right here, dentin exposed. And this person had a little bit of sensitivity with really cold temperatures, like ice cream or yogurt or something like that, but it wasn't bad at all. But it wouldn't take much to fracture a corner of this tooth right here, and then he or she would have cracked tooth syndrome. Here's a gentleman right here has a lot of worn teeth, and you can see right here, a little fracture right there starting, and over here, a little fracture starting. These teeth were sensitive. Other teeth we contacted, we touched, we pushed on them, they weren't sensitive, but that tooth and that tooth, those two were, were sensitive. So cracked tooth syndrome is very elusive. A diagnosis is very difficult to make. A patient can go from physician to dentist and they may think they have trigeminal neuralgia, they might have temporal tendonitis, they might have a TMJ problem, a displaced disc, but it's really a cracked tooth which can cause a lingering kind of pain after chewing, but sometimes it doesn't cause pain at all when you chew and other times it causes intense pain. So if you have problems like that, you can't find the issue, can't find the problem, and a tooth isn't fractured that you know of, but not fractured off, not broken, see your dentist because there's a chance you have cracked tooth syndrome. Now you've seen the PowerPoint presentation of a fractured tooth, and some of the things we can do to save these are simply what I had to have done. I had to have two teeth crowned over here, and once your teeth are crowned, if they capture the fracture and eliminate that fracture and, crown, and crowning the tooth or teeth, everything can be fine. I have no sensitivity whatsoever now that I've had the two, those two teeth crowned. You also may place an appliance that's probably the best appliance for this disorder called the NTI, the NTI appliance, and I'll show you that later on in a video. And I was fortunate enough to be the FDA leading scientist for the investigation of that. So we'll talk about the NTI. But you also need to reduce your stress. Stress is a killer. Stress is like throwing gas on an existing fire. It'll flare up, it'll make you grind your teeth more, and maybe fracture teeth as well. Sometimes you have to wait to see if the tooth's gonna fracture, and then you have to see if the tooth can be repaired. Cracked tooth syndrome is a very elusive diagnosis, and oftentimes it's missed by physicians and dentists alike. It's very difficult to see. You can't always see it on an x-ray. And sometimes you have to wait till it even actually becomes worse, and maybe the tooth actually abscesses and then you have to treat it with a root canal or take the tooth out. So it can cause a lot of pain and suffering, facial pain, lingering, jaw aching, jaw pain, and some may confuse it for trigeminal neuralgia or temporal tendonitis or a TMJ problem. That's not what it is. It's a fractured tooth, and if you grind your teeth a lot, you clench your teeth a lot, your teeth may be sensitive to cold temperatures, you've worn tooth structure off, you've fractured fillings, you've knocked crowns out of your mouth, you may have a problem with cracked tooth syndrome. Thank you. Appreciate you watching. Thank you very much.
Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, put them down below. I read all your questions, all the comments. I try to answer all the questions, suggest topics for videos in the future, and I'll try to address them. Thank you for watching.